The function iteration applet is a tool that allows us to calculate the result of iterating a function over and over again and to visualize that result. Let's imagine we had a dynamical system of this form. So x is our state variable and we have x sub n plus 1, so the value of x at time n plus 1 is some function of x at the previous time, x sub n. To be concrete, let's give it a specific form. Let's say our new value is 1 plus 0 0.8 times the old value x sub n. To enter this function into our applet, we need to type f using the variable just x, not x sub n. So for example, to enter 1 plus 0 0.8 x sub n, we need to say that f of x is just 1 plus 0 0.8 times x. That's what the applet requires. It can't read this x sub n. Besides specifying the function f, we also need to specify the initial conditions x0 or x0, which here is 1. Given the initial condition x0 is equal to 1, we can calculate the next value, x of 1, by taking 1 and putting it into this function. We do this automatically by clicking the iterate button. We see that x sub 1 is 1.8, because 1 plus 0 0.8 times 1 gives us 1.8. The value is displayed in the chart on the right, and also in the graph on the left. So here we see where n is 1, we get x sub 1, which is about 1.8, so this dot right here. To calculate x sub 2, we just need to take x sub 1, 1 1.8, and plug it into the function. That's why this is called function iteration. We iterate the function over and over again. When we put 1.8 into our function, we get x sub 2, which is 2.44, which is displayed on the graph here on the left. It's very easy with this applet to keep going. We can calculate x sub 3 is 2.9 something, x sub 4, x sub 5, etc. And we see we get all the different iterates potted automatically using this function, and we get a nice display of the values on the right. In the default view, the horizontal axis goes up n equals 20. If we go past it, the axis automatically expands to go up another 10. And so we can continue to go past 20 to larger and larger values. For this dynamical system, we can see that the function seems to go to the value about 5. If we scroll down on our list, we see indeed we're very close to 5 for the initial condition x0 equals 1. We can change the initial condition by just typing a new value here. So I could type x equals 2 or minus 1. Or we can take the mouse and drag this blue point x sub naught up and down. And for this particular dynamical system, we can see that it always seems to want to go to about 5. We could change the dynamical system. So we make it 2 times x. And now we can see we get very different values. That seems too big. Let's make it a smaller number. And now we can see it goes to a smaller value. You can zoom in with the plus button, zoom out with a minus button and also shift it up and down with the arrows to zoom in what you care about. And that's about it. The applet is a nice convenient way to quickly calculate lots of iterates for function iteration.